What's up, Internet? My name's Nerdy. And I'm Clarouge. And our best boys are back. <gasps> That's right. Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. A Canadian that is very good at stuff. And an Australian who is very important to me. Are gracing the silver screen once more. In Deadpool and Wolverine, this is the final trailer, and we're going to react to it. Yeah, if anyone uh, can get a hold of that um, Xbox controller, let me know. We will buy. Yeah. I, we, I, I need if, it. If they sell that, I'm going to buy one. Yeah. That is the funniest huh. thing I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Good? I know. No. Nerdy is not okay. This is the trailer. Come on, react to it with us. Or don't. Or don't. You don't have to you film do, yourself. You, That's, yeah. yeah. You do film whatever you want. Film React to our reaction. Somebody please do it. Just one person. <clears throat> I know I turn everything into a joke. But I care. Or I want to use that for something important. Great. Happy for you, Wade. I waited a long time for this team up. In my world, you're well regarded. <laughs> you were an X Man. Fuck that, you were the X Man. The Wolverine. Yeah. Fox kind of made that happen for He's a hero in my world. Yeah, well, he ain't shit in mine. <laughs> okay. I used to beg me to wear this suit. So did Storm and Beast. But I couldn't have him thinking I wanted to be there. And it was too late. It's only nine people, but my entire world is right here in this picture. And I have no idea how to save it alone, but you, you know how to save it. Damn. I'm so excited for that fight. Yeah. Whoever you think I am. You got the wrong guy. Oh, shit! You were always the wrong guy. What's up, Jackie? Till you weren't. Are you ready? Fuck yeah, I'm ready. I'm the Wolverine. Yeah, you are, All you! Right, let's go. Oh, Let's go. Fuck. Stop it. Wow. Okay. Wow. Interesting choice for the final trailer. I dig it. Brilliant. Yeah. I am so fucking yeah. Okay. What? Well, yeah. Brilliant. Right. Like, hey, hey, we are doing a comedy. Yeah. But there is a very emotional movie mm -hmm. that audiences of Hugh Jackman's Wolverine think is a little sacrosanct and can't be touched and, like, right. should be left alone. Right. Let's take this final trailer to not make jokes, mm -hmm. acknowledge Hugh Jackman's legacy with this character. Yep. Let the audience know we are not shitting on Logan. Yeah. Or trying to, like, retcon Logan, right? That that even, like, Deadpool, this character who makes everything into a joke, yeah. does not make into a joke the fact that Logan made Hugh Jackman a hero. Yeah, right? yeah for or sure. Or Wolverine a hero. I, I think that it's a it's such a clever choice. Mm -hmm. And also is, is you know, I, I think that one of the things that's really overlooked in Deadpool 1 and why that movie is such a success, beyond a very successful comedy, is the fact that the emotional underpinnings of that movie were so solid, mm -hmm. right? Like the relationship between um, Miranda Baccarin's character, I can't remember her name, and Deadpool, yeah, um, is so good, yeah, right? Yeah. And so you 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 bought into the relationships of those characters, and mm -hmm. while I've enjoyed the jokes of the previous Deadpool trailers, mm -hmm. showing the relationship between him and Wolverine in this, and, and and sort of the like neediness of Wade Wilson here. Yeah, we know Deadpool's funny. Yeah. Nobody is, like, worried about it not being funny. I think that having the final trailer be like, no, no, we care mm -hmm. is is brilliant. I think they crushed it. That was, uh, that was very well done. Because I, like, I am just so much more interested in seeing this movie now. Like, yeah. I already knew it was going to be a good time, mm -hmm. right? You know, it's going to be funny. It's going to be jokes. It's going to be incredible actors doing their thing and some probably really cool fight scenes. 
But like I'm that much more invested in the actual storyline and yeah. the emotional side of it. And I, I yeah, well done. That's Do right. you think that Lady Deadpool is Taylor Swift? No. You really with that big blonde poof, you don't think that's gonna be T Swift? That's what Lady Deadpool looks like. I know. I know. I just the, it the, could be Ariana Grande because ponytail. I know, like, but the the fact that Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively were like going to Chiefs games with Taylor Swift, probably Blake Lively. during all of this. If it's Blake Lively, perfection. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Per- Honestly, I would love that, that. Would be preferred to me. Yeah, Blake Lively cameoing as Lady Deadpool is so funny. Yeah, that, I, that I might, it. Yeah, okay. Actually, that's pretty great. Yeah, I don't think it's Taylor Swift. I don't think I've ever seen Taylor I think Swift she's in gonna a be in this movie. movie. Like what? Like. I don't think she acts really like. Yeah, but she's going to be in that, um, uh, the Marvel thing, right? The what? like, yeah, yeah. Taylor Swift, they cast her. Taylor Swift is going to be in some Marvel thing that's like a spy lady. Excuse me. Yeah, that we we talked about it at some point. Taylor Swift, Marvel character. She, um. Yeah, she's going to be blonde phantom. Is reportedly being considered for the role. I thought... Okay, so she was in talks to join the MCU. Yeah. Okay. I... Yeah, I just... I've never seen Taylor Swift act in anything. She's so. in Valentine's Day. The... Or... Was it Valentine's Day? There's three of them. It's Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, New Year's Eve. What was the middle one? No, she's in Valentine's Day. Her and Taylor Lautner um, play, like, a young couple in love... And I'm not saying that her acting in that is, like, Oscar-worthy. But she's not, like, But her and Taylor Lautner are genuinely so funny. All right, cool. Those movies are weird guilty pleasures of mine, because, like, I know they're ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And I worked, full disclosure, I worked on New Year's Eve um, for a few weeks of misery. But, uh, well, we were filming, so um, when we were, I worked on the New Year's Eve, like, ball drop scenes. And so we filmed... Oh, no, no, no. It, we filmed in February oh, in did. New York City oh. overnights. Oh, okay. So it was like negative 40 degrees <laughs> as we're standing out there waiting for Vanessa Hudgens or whoever. No, to, yeah, that sounds awful. Um, or was it, um, it might have been Leah Michelle? I can't remember. Um, but we literally were just like, this is the, it's so cold. And they would have to do it. Basically, they had like 200 of us, I think. But it's like thousands of people. And yeah. so we would film it here and then we would and then move, move and do it here it. and then film it here. It took forever. That's awful. Um, I, I don't know if I could do that. It was, it was, it was I did, I, when I did background so on the boys, it was like 35 degrees, but I like the heat. Yeah, yeah. I cannot do the cold. Oh, it was free. Because it, yeah. it, it was like literally like mid February. Yeah. Anyway, not the point. This looks great. I yeah. am, I am, like you said, I am more interested in this movie now because. Uh-huh. I feel like they were like, hey, just before this movie comes out, we want to remind you guys, this movie has a beating heart in it. Yeah. And the, the reason that Deadpool movies are successful as comedies, in a way that I think that other superhero comedies aren't. Is the relationships. Is, is the heart. I, it's, the, it's the reason why I think Guardians of the Galaxy works, despite being so ridiculous, mm. is that it is the, the emotions that James Gunn plays with in those movies always land, right? Yeah. Um, I, and I think that... The, the way you do comedy is pairing it with that mm-hmm. sappiness. Yeah. It, it, not sappy is the wrong word, but you know what I mean. That, like, meaningfulness. Yeah, yeah. And I'm so glad they showed that here. I'm so glad they're giving Hugh his flowers. I love the man. Yeah, um, he deserves it. Yeah, he really does. Yeah. And I'm going to cry in this movie probably multiple times. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm like, do we wait to react to it? But I don't want to. I think we're going to go see it in theaters. <laughs> Daphne Keene. Love her. Having a good year. Yeah, crushing it. Jackie. Yeah. Pretty rad. And yeah. now uh, looking good in this movie. It's crazy how much older they are. Um, yeah. It's weird how time passes. Yeah. Time's a weird thing. I hate it. Because Logan feels like it came out like two years ago, but it came out like nine years ago. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's that weird, there's the weird, like, COVID bump of, like, feeling like the there's, time There's, like, three shrunk. years that did, didn't yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, no, it's, that was the first It's weird. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, ex- I'm stoked. Yeah, me too. I'm so, yeah, it's going to be cool. And, and you know, what's fun is that they, they've teased, they've shown some cameos, right? They've given us Sabretooth. They've given us now Lady Deadpool. They've given us, um, like, I think that was Toad in the background, uh, with his tongue flapping, uh, in the Mad Max scene. And yet, 
I feel like there's so much about this movie that I have that we have not seen at all. Mm. Like they've really used this like um, 20th Century Fox logo set to fill up the space of so much of the film, mm-hmm. but I don't think the movie spends more than 20 minutes there. I, you yeah. know what I mean? Like I have a feeling that whatever the larger stuff of this movie is, mm-hmm. these trailers have managed to really convince me to be fully on board mm-hmm. and also are hiding so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't really know what the plot is at all. Deadpool's got to save the people he loves. And uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Uh, if you like the video, like, subscribe to the channel. If you don't, hit the dislike button. Leave mean comments down below because the algorithm god is hungry and we must feed her this episode. That algorithm god ass is... Blake Lively. Blake mother effing Lively. Yeah. What you bought me pizza bamf. one time. Yeah. And I will remember it for the rest of my days. <laughs> You're a sweet lady. And I wish nothing but the best for you and your husband. I hope that his little movie is very successful. Uh, if you want to follow us on the internet, you can. I'm at Nerdy Nightly. I'm at Clarice Polaris. Do something nerdy tonight. Bye, guys. Bye.